Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the next part of the flask application series. In the last video, we got a lot done actually. We had the dashboard, um, we made it so that we could add an article through the dashboard, how we could list all the articles on the dashboard and also on the front end as well. So these are coming from the database. So now what we want to do is we want to work on the editing of the articles. Okay, we have the edit button right here but uh, we don't have it doing anything so let's go ahead and create the route for it so we're gonna go to what the hell we're gonna go to app.py and we'll go uh, right under the add article actually you know what we'll just copy this okay we'll paste that in this is gonna be edit edit article and for the route it's going to be edit article and then slash and let's say string ID okay we're going to pass in an ID we need to leave that because we should only access this if we're logged in let's change the this to edit and then we need to pass in the ID as a parameter okay so we need to before we we have the form we need to fill it okay um, so we need to do a query to get the article by this ID and then have it fill our form the edit form so to do that we're gonna go right up here and we're gonna do uh, let's see we're gonna create cursor so let's say cur equals mysql dot connection dot cursor and then what we want to do is get the user by uh, by the, its ID okay because the ID is being passed in here not user article okay so we'll say result equal to cur dot execute and then this is going to be select all from articles where the ID is equal to percent s okay and then we'll just put in here ID okay then we'll have a variable called article and we'll set it to that cursor dot fetch one and that'll put it in that variable the article so then we want to get the form which we actually already created. Okay, we're going to use article form. So that's that's correct. Now we want to populate the fields and we can do that from here. Let's say populate article form fields and we can do that by saying form.title.data is going to be equal to article which is coming from here we fetched it from the database but this should only be the title and we can access that in this syntax all right and then we want to do the same thing for the body just like that then we're going to do the post okay because that'll fill the form uh, and then once we check to see if everything's valid and it's sending the post request then we can get the new title and body from the form we'll create a cursor um, now instead of inserting we want to update so let's go ahead and get rid of that and we'll say update and then the table name which is articles and we'll say set We'll say set name. Yeah, set name equal to percent s, and also body equal to percent s. And then I think we go like that. I actually don't have this part of the application done, so I'm kind of going off my head here. So this would be name 
and body. Oh, we got to put the where clause in here too. So we'll say where. Let's see. So where ID is equal to percent s. So I think it's like that. All right, you know what? Let's uh This might not work, but let's just keep going just to make sure that we can actually load the form and all that crap. Okay, so this will redirect to dashboard. That's good. We're going to render the template though of edit article. All right, so let's save that and then we're going to go to templates create a new file called edit_article.html. And for the form, it's going to be very close to the add article form, so I'm going to just grab that. Put that in there. Let's just change this to edit article. Actually, I think that's all we need to change. So we'll save it. Oh, cool. So now we have the form and we have the the pre-filled fields. All right. Now for the logic when we submit it, I don't I'm not sure if that's going to work, but let's give it a shot. We'll just change it to article and then the number 2. Global name name is not defined. Oh, it's not name, it's title. Article updated, but it didn't. Oh, I know what it is. that's happening because what's what we're doing is selecting the article with the id that's passed in and we're setting the the fields here the default fields which come from the database and then we're setting title and body to the fields that are actually still in the database so it's working it's just getting the same title and body submitted so what we need to do is change both of these to i think it's request or is it we did it in the login right here request.form and then the field so let's just grab that and let's see go back to edit article and right here we'll say request.form.title and then this one will be request.form.body all right so we'll save that let's reload and click edit for article 1 we'll change it to the number 1 submit And there we go. Now it's updating. All right, so the last thing we want to do is the delete. And like I said before, this is actually going to be a form that makes a post request and then we can actually do the delete from there. So, let's go to uh dashboard. Or is it dashboard HTML? And we're going to just get rid of this a tag for the delete button. And let's put in a form tag. Okay, the action we're just going to leave blank. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to leave it blank. We're going to put in here our double curly braces and say URL underscore four. And this is going to go to delete article. That's going to be the route delete underscore article. And we also want to pass along the ID, and we can do that by just putting in another parameter and say ID equals. article.id So now we're going to have two inputs in here, one's going to be hidden and one's going to be the submit button. So this one will say type hidden and the name is going to be underscore method and then the value is going to be delete. This is how we can kind of like kind of fake a delete request, I guess. Okay, then we'll have another input. This is going to have the type of submit. We don't need a name. And the value is going to be delete. And then we'll give it a class of btn btn danger. So, let's save that and reload. Could not build URL for endpoint, delete articles, 
Okay, so we don't we didn't create delete article yet, so we need to do that. So let's go to app.py. We're going to go right below the edit article route. Okay, so let's say at app.route and this is going to be slash delete underscore article. And the function we'll just call delete article. And this is actually it's going to the ID is actually going to get passed as well. So right here, let's do slash string ID and then we have to pass that in here as well. Okay. And we only want this to happen if the user is logged in. So right here we can put our at is logged in. Okay, then we need to create the cursor. Connection dot cursor. And we'll do our execute. And this is going to be delete from articles where the ID is equal to percent s and then we'll put in ID. Okay, so then we need to do our commit. I'm just going to grab this. We'll grab the commit and the close. And then we'll just uh, we'll do a flash message and we'll redirect. So I'll copy that as well. And we're going to say article deleted and go back to the dashboard. All right, so let's save it and let's go back and try to reload this. And if we click delete method not allowed. And that's because we didn't put post. It's actually not allowing the post. So right here in the route, we just need to add method or methods and we only want posts. So shouldn't a get shouldn't be able to do anything here. So let's save that and reload. What happened? Methods equals post. Oh, this should be inside brackets. God, lots of banging up there. All right, so let's start the server again and reload and delete. And there we go, article deleted. So we're all caught up to the demo and that's going to be it for now. Uh, I do want to eventually do a deployment video and we may add some more functionality uh, in the future. But uh, I just know that I am going to be busy lately. I'm starting a new course on Laravel uh, premium course. So that I will be tied up with that. Um, and of course, I'll be releasing, you know, my regular scheduled YouTube videos, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get back to this or not uh, anytime soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you learned a little something about Python and Flask, and I will see you next time.